Good afternoon, and thank you for stepping into the Fire Play Land. As always, I'm your Fire Player. I want to make this quick New York Mets video. And it's uh, just breaking that the Mets have acquired Francisco Lindor from the Cleveland Indians, in addition to starting pitcher Carlos Carrasco. Uh, the Mets are sending back uh, Ahmed Rosario, Andres Jimenez, Isaiah Green, the outfielder that they just uh, signed or drafted this past offseason, I think with their third pick overall, I mean their third round pick. And they're also sending uh, Wolf, the uh, starting pick, the second round, the second round pick, or the first of two first rounders. Their second pick overall this past year. Um, so that's a package of, to go over it again, Andreas Jimenez. Ahmed Rosario, uh, Wolf, the uh, pitching prospect, and Isaiah Green, the outfielding prospect. Overall, I think this is a good deal. I think it uh, Mets kind of got over a little bit on this one. With the Med Rosario, I mean, uh, as a lot of Mets fans know, he didn't really materialize as far as like his potential yet. I mean, he took a step back last year. He's still young. Um, but one thing I did know is that he, at best, was probably going to be a little bit above average um, shortstop. His bat could uh, turn into a 20 home run bat in the future. Who knows? Um, he doesn't take a lot of walks. I mean, he didn't take any walks. He had like the lowest walks in the league uh, for a good portion of last year, if not the whole last year. I got to look into it. But... Um, the biggest, I guess, part of this is Andres Jimenez. He became a fan favorite last year, but if you, and uh, he had really solid um, fielding at the shortstop position. But if you get Lindor, I mean, you're gonna have to replace him. You you know, there'd, there'd be nowhere for um, Andres to play. Besides that, I know he was a fan favorite. I mean, because he beat out Rosario. Um, for the shortstop position last year or to start. But at the end of the day, I mean, he was still like a 260-something hitter. I mean, and that was uh, one year that he's played. If he takes a step back um, similar to what Ahmed Rosario did, I mean, then, you know, holding him back from a trade would have been for naught. Um, Wolf, I did like him as a starting pitcher. I was excited that the Mets drafted him. Uh, he did have Tommy John surgery in the past. Um, and he was a really highly rated pitcher even before last year. And you know, he got drafted, and uh, he wasn't—he didn't want to sign when he got drafted the first time. I believe it was by the Dodgers. But uh, he went back to college, and uh, I don't know if he had Tommy John surgery before all that. But um, you know, you have that little bit of an injury history. Um, which makes gives you a little bit of trepidation, but thankfully the Mets didn't give up Allen, who I think is a little bit of a better uh, prospect. Actually, I think Allen's a, a far better prospect than what Wolf is. So we still got a little bit of our pitching um, in the farm. I mean, we don't have a lot of farm players in general, so a lot of what we're giving up either was already on the major league roster and was going to have a hard time uh, playing this coming year at shortstop in Ahmed Rosario and Andres Jimenez. And you're also giving up a pitcher who wasn't going to start next year, maybe. I mean, uh, he had an outside chance of going into the bullpen because he's a little bit of an older uh, prospect and wolf. But um, with Carrasco, I mean, you get a really good starter so i mean like you know that kind of like re way replaces that isaiah green I, I actually liked isaiah green a lot but uh he wasn't our best outfielding prospect i think p crow is a little bit better um and they were both acquired last year and they're both pups they're both really young and really far away from contributing but isaiah green i think he will materialize into a nice power hitting uh prospect if not major leaguer in the future but I liked Pete Crow's all-around game a little better, but I thought the world of both those prospects. But Isaiah Green, I mean, if he did make it into the league, it would have been five years from now. Um, he's still a little raw, as is Pete Crow Armstrong. But if I had to give up one of the two, of course, I was going to give up Isaiah Green. 
But overall, I think this is a really good package. I mean, Francisco Lindor is a top five player in the league when he's right. Last year, he took a little bit of a step back. But um, the Indians had a lot of disarray happening um, or a lot of discord happening in the team last year. So you can't really blame him for that. But Francisco Lindor, you know, he's just a very marketable talent here in New York. Um, I'm glad he's coming to the Mets. Hopefully he stays with the Mets. Um, and I think that this package wasn't overwhelming that was going back to um, the Indians because of that uncertainty of whether um, Lindor would sign long term. But regardless, you still get Carlos Carrasco, I mean, uh, who's a really solid starting pitcher. I like it. He actually did really well last year. But I think he fits into the equation of our rotation in its entirety in the sense that he's not a power pitcher. He's more of a curveball, really, really good curveball uh, pitcher. Um, and we did really need a starter. Um, so this fits right into what we um, one of our needs was. Carlos Carrasco, I think, could potentially be our number three starter, if not our number two starter, uh, depending on how they want to uh, formulate things um, pertaining to the order of our starting rotation. But, I mean, I'm actually excited. I can't believe this really happened. I mean, I wasn't gung-ho about trying to sign Lindor because I didn't want to give up a lot of... Uh, of our minor league capital, but seemingly we didn't give up a lot of our minor league capital. We gave up a lot of our starters or one of our starters in essence, or somebody who was going to fill into that starting position at shortstop. But we already seen what Ahmed Rosario could do. And he was going to be maybe run at center field next year. Um, if not, he was going to be a backup um, starter. There was no real clear idea as to what we were going to do with Ahmed Rosario. And with Jimenez, I mean, as nice as he was last year, you never know if he takes a step back or um, goes into the sophomore um, slump stage of his career. So we were able to replace those two guys who, um, you know, are average, maybe good at the um, as a starting shortstop with uh, probably the best, one, if not one of the best fielding um shortstops in the league who also um, hits really well and steals bases and could also be the potential face of the franchise moving forward. But um, yeah, I mean, this is good news. I mean, like, um, I really can't believe it didn't ha it happen because uh, there was no um, sign or rumors up until 15 minutes ago, and now it's uh, materialized. Um, what moves do we make next? Who knows? I mean, like, uh, but we... Uh, have acquired a, a good piece for our batting order, and we also acquired a really good starting pitcher. Because if you told me who I rather have between Carlos Carrasco or maybe like a Jake Odorizzi, I take Carrasco all day. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I grade this move a B plus, if not A, for the Mets. I mean, actually, I'm gonna give it an A. Um, regardless, I mean, like a lot of the rumors that you heard about, um, what people. What the Indians wanted for uh, Lindor, it was going to take a whole heck of a lot. Even, and you still have to deal with the uncertainty of whether he signs or not. Um, so no matter what, I mean, like we didn't give a whole heck of a lot for him. So I give this trade an A. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go A on this one uh, for the Mets. And then you know you got to factor getting Carlos Carrasco. I mean maybe. Uh, Wolf could become a Carrasco, but Carrasco is Carrasco, and we did need a starting pitcher, so I give this an A. I mean, and we still got moved, um, the ability to make other moves, so so far, so good. I mean, uh, trust in the plan of uh, Cohen with that. I'm out. Thank you for stepping into the foul playland with me. Peace.